August 1953, only eight months after Dwight D. Eisenhower entered office as President of the United States. A black sedan made its way through the streets of Tehran, Iran. Inside, hidden under a blanket, was CIA operative Kermit Roosevelt. Once inside the royal palace gates, the car door opened and in stepped His Imperial Majesty Reza Pahlavi, the young Shah of Iran, codenamed the Boy Scout. In a hushed voice, Roosevelt disclosed the details of Project Ajax, a secret CIA plot to overthrow leftist Prime Minister Mohammad Mossadegh, codenamed the Old Bugger. The Shah would be maintained on the throne. At stake were immense oil reserves and a strategic location in the southern border of the Soviet Union. In the weeks that followed, Roosevelt used $10,000 to rent a mob of muscle men to incite riots against the two-day Communist Party and bully Prime Minister Mossadegh out of office. After a two-hour battle raged outside his residence, a tearful Mossadegh slipped out the back and fled. Roosevelt sent a victory telegram to the Shah, who had been hiding in Rome. Like most great CIA covert operations, uh, they succeed partly because of a plot and partly by accident. The young Shah was sort of caught by surprise himself. He was so excited that Kermit Roosevelt had done this for him, he, he said something to the effect that, I owe my throne to God and my people and to you, looking straight at Kermit Roosevelt. The coup in Iran caused a sensation around the world and emboldened the CIA, giving its agents an exaggerated sense of confidence. For the next decade, as the world's two superpowers confronted each other in an atomic standoff, the Central Intelligence Agency destabilized national economies, toppled leftist regimes, and plotted assassinations. What few people realized was that the responsibility for ordering these covert acts fell squarely on the shoulders of the friendly-looking fellow in the White House. While he appeared to be casual and amiable, aides close to Eisenhower saw a very different side to the man. There was a very uh, profound difference between the, the outer projection and the man himself when he got down to business. Mostly, this is one tough SOB. As he went along, cultivating this image of a benign, even bumbling grandfather, Dwight Eisenhower orchestrated some of the most devious covert operations the world has ever known. For most of the 1950s, the hidden hand of President Eisenhower was pulling the strings and very consciously shaping the balance of global power.